What is good guys, we are back with game 3, the deciding game between Sabala and Karen Smith, whoever wins this moves on to ulti grand finals, let's look at the teams real quick. On Sabala's side I assume it's uh, Spadef Rodon, but I have Papa Barry for stuff like Greninja and then that means the Megina could be offensive, it doesn't have to be AV, so it could be Zemo of Megina. The Ladi should be Scarf, the Zard should be Zardex, uh, he does not have a Tita to support Zard Y and yeah, Zardex is makes more sense to me. I think the Lando is going to be defensive with rocks and uh, Hoopa's either going to be Specs or Bandit. And our current team we do have three Steel types, S most likely Scarf Katana, and then either AV Mag or AV Magnuson or AV Megina. Um, I'm thinking more so AV Megina and then probably Z move on Magnuson would make sense to me. Uh, Life of Curum, uh, Mega Gyarados with Dragon Dance and uh, Defensive Lando. There's definitely some threats on both sides. Um, Hoopa can is, is going to be kind of tough to switch into. Because the main thing that you would obviously um, bring in Hoopa most of the time is Megina. But if it's Fire Punch, it's going to be able to hurt that. And we do see Hoopa versus Lando lead. I don't think it's in Karen's best interest to stay in here. Because Hoopa um, can do a lot to Lando if it's Specs with Dark Pulse. If it's banned, there's also the option of Hoopa having Ice Punch. Even though that's not really common. But I would probably just go to Megina here if I'm Karen. Because you do have the Intimidate on the Hooper, so even if Megina would, if you Sabala predicts the Megina, Ice uh, Fire Punch is not going to do much. And losing Lando or like letting Lando get super low from potential Specs Dark Pulse or Band Ice Punch is definitely not the play because then Zardex becomes a huge threat. So I would always go hard Megina here if I'm Karen. I think Sabala is just going to go for the best move that he has to hit the Landers. And I guess if he does not have Ice Punch, he might um, switch out here into something like Rotom. That I could also see that for sure. But it's not worth it risking Lando getting super low here if you can. So like I said, just go gear if you can. And if you sub out, depends on the moveset. So that does just go to, into Magina and we do see the Hooper had Ice Punch. So that pretty much confirms like I already thought a Team Brewer that's most likely Zarex. And Hooper had Ice Punch to lure and Landru. Or like it's also nice for Zygarde. Um like Hooper can hurt Landrus even if it doesn't have Ice Punch, but if it's physical Ice Punch is like the best move it has to hit it. So I would just Volt Switch here on Karen because I don't think it's worth it for Sabala to risk the Lando on a potential floor can. I think the Rotom is gonna come out because it should be Spadef at Aya Papa. Uh, there's also a slight chance that his own gear comes out, but like I said, I think that the Rotom is but definitely gear is offensive on Sabala's side. It's probably Zemo of Megina. Either Z Focus Blast or Z Flurkan is what I'm thinking on Sabala's side. So now um, Kyurum is gonna come out because um, Sabala doesn't have good Kyurum switch -ins. In general, it's hard to switch into Kyurum unless you have like a Gastrodon or a Spadef Jirachi. So either Fusion Bolt or Off Power is gonna come out. That obviously depends on that. Um, but if Rotom is Spadef, it will still take a good chunk from Fusion Bolt. But I assume that since Kyurum, uh, Karen, I said Kyurum, since Karen went so fast into Kyurum, I assume this has off power. And Rotom is going to be able to take it decently well. I assume it's going to be like half, since Rotom should be Spadef on this team. I don't think Sabala wants anything else to take a huge hit. Like, if you go Lari here, that's potentially, that's unnecessarily risky. And like I said, Rotom can take the hit. Rotom can also later get its berry activated. Um... So it's going to be fine to just Volt Switch out here, I think. As Sabala makes that play. And Sabala can now go into Zard. Because if you go Hooper, you have to predict a bit too much. And if you go Zard, you can just click Flare Blitz. Karen is not going to stay in. Karen is going to be forced to land to go Lander here. Because uh, Kyurum is just nice and can put him work. So I feel like Lander was always the play there. So Karen is either going to um, go for Rocks. Or Earthquake. The thing is... Um, Sabala can uh, predict the rocks and stay in with the Zard. So this is... Oh god, he predicts the rocks or slash U-turn. Did he get the play correct? He gets an unfortunate burn. But if Karen went for off, Zard still would have died. But Karen just went for rocks. Um, that would have covered the Rotom and... Yeah, Rotom definitely was an option there. Because it would have lived the U-turn and then getting his Aya Papa Berry. I understand rocking, but yeah, Sabala made a good read there. Sabala can roost here because even if the Lando stays in at Earthquakes, it shouldn't do that much. Even the high roll should only do like 52 maybe. Since, yeah, it's burned. That burn was really unfortunate. And in case Karen U-turns, roost uh, gives Zard a lot of health back. So Karen does just U-turn in a Gyarados. So double Intimidate on the uh, Zard. So Zard is going to be forced out here. Sabala's either going to go to Rotom gets to get the Aya Papa Berry or Heart Megina. 
Crown has Earthquake. I think Earthquake would be a good play here to either just kill the Rotom or... Uh, I guess not. it wouldn't maybe kill because Rotom gets the Aya Papa, but it would definitely tweet KO. And it would also do a good amount to Magiena. And Magiena or Rotom are definitely the, the two plays, the two options for Sabella here. I don't think Sabella is another play. Going into Ladi is definitely not an option. Because Mega Gera after that, Mega has really great speed death and Scarf Draco only does like 58, I think. So yeah, it's either Rotom or Magiena that is gonna come out here. Um, does Karen have a good double for both? I mean, like I said, Earthquake would be just a fine play to hit both decently hard. So Gorom comes out, gets his Aya Papa, and Karen the double into Magnuson, okay. So I assume Karen is just gonna fire off a T-Bolt here, Sabella is gonna go to Landris. Um, I guess Flashkin, yeah, Flashkin is a potential play here, predicting the incoming Landris. Uh, the Rotom is not gonna stay in here. Since it has the berry now, it can still put in a little bit of work, and... Yeah, I think Lando is definitely coming out here from Sabella's side. If the Gera doesn't have Earthquake, the Rotom can take a hit from there later on. So he just can just just T-Bolt. So if this is Z-Move, Magnezone, the only way it can Oko the Lando is... Um, it went for Z-Move. I'm pretty sure it's the Z-Move that I was thinking about. z Crocs to crash, so it's Z-Flash can. That's like the only way Magnezone can Oko Lando. And it was a defensive Lando, so it was slower than Magnezone. So I think Sabella is now going to go into Zard or Hoopa. And Karen is then most likely going to sack the Landorus. But yeah, getting rid of Lando is amazing for Karen. Um, Katana can potentially win this now. Rocks are up, so Zard is going to be forced to roost if it comes out, I think. And Ladi doesn't want to switch into Scarf Katana either. And it's like the only one that outspeeds Scarf Katana, the Ladi with Scarf. And it doesn't like switching into a katana with rocks up, and Ladi's fist dev is not that good, so leaf blade and rocks up would do around half. I would guess that's just a head calc. I don't have my calc open. But yeah, I think um, Zard is gonna come out here and roost because the the Lando sack is quite obvious from Karen's side, and you obviously want to get your health back on Zard if you Sabella. But yeah, that can be potentially crucial. Um, getting rid of Lando for late game katana. So Zard comes out, and like I said, most likely Karen is gonna go land, though. Sabella should roost predicting that. Goes into Gyarados. Okay, that also works. Hmm. Let me think, is it worth it to Dragon Dance here for Karen? I don't think Earthquake KOs Megina, even at plus one. So yeah, I don't think it was worth it. So let's just go back into Landra's. Um, Sex it off to get some helmet chip. Okay, okay. So now the Gera's at minus... Now the Zada's at minus two. Um, so he, Karen can either go into Katana, Kyurem, or Gyarados here. But the way Karen has been playing this, I don't think Karen has Earthquake on Gyarados. Karen has been doubling out the Gera like twice already. Or like doubling out, doubled it out once and s switched it out once. Did I say Katana? I meant- no, no, Katana is not the play, what am I saying? Uh, Kyurem is the play, or is Gyarados, one of the two. Um, because even though the Zard is at minus two, Katana still loses to Zard, what am I saying? Yeah. My bad, guys. So yeah, Kyurem was a fine play, and... I think Sabala is gonna, um, have to sack the Rotom here, I don't really see what else he can do. The Zard is amazing in this game, since he already got rid of the Landris, so sacking Zard is definitely not the play, um... Risking Ladi here is too risky, so because I, de I can definitely see Karen going for an Ice Beam here. So I think Sabella is just gonna go Rotom. In case um, Karen Ice Beams going hard, Ladi is unnecessarily risky. And also Megina can potentially put in work for Sabella later, so I also don't think Megina has to play. I just think going Rotom is fine here. Yeah, I can definitely see Karen Ice Beaming. I mean, if the Rotom after Rocks dies to off power, you could make a really um, a kind of unnecessary prediction and roost on the switch and then KO the Rotom with off power. But I think off power is a roll even, so just Ice Beam. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, now Karen is just gonna off power. There's not really a point in roosting because the Rotom could then Will Wisp you or Volt Switch. So I think just off power here is fine. And yeah, the Rotom dies. And uh, oh, by the way, minus one Dragon Claw from Zard would not have done much to cure him. It would have done maybe. Um, Maybe a little bit less than half, or like around half. Kyurem's pretty bulky. And... 
Mortis gonna come out here. We have a few options. Zard can come back out. Ladi can come out. No, no, I don't. I would not go Ladi. The only reason I would go Ladi is to default maybe, because the gear in the back kind of just walls the Ladi. Yeah, I assume Zard or Ladi are gonna come out, obviously, because Hooper is slower than Kyurem, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty sure Hooper is only base 80 and Kyurem is definitely faster. So Zard comes out and. Karen is either going to stay in to let the Kyurem die, or maybe go into Gyarados? Does just stay in, does not want the Zard to set up or roost for free, Com understandable. Goes into Gyarados to get the Intimidate, and... I assume Karen is just going to like Waterfall or Crunch here. Probably Waterfall, because that hits the Megina for more damage than Crunch. It does go for Dragon Dance, okay. But I'm pretty sure Megina can take a hit. Uh, so the Gyarados is either DD, um, 2 attacks and then Taunt or Sub on the last slot or 3 attacks. But usually I see Sub or Taunt more often than 3 attacks Gyarados. Uh, so Sabella can go for Florican here which I think if it's offensive Megina that should definitely kill the Gyarados. I know Gyarados has really great spadef and from AV it has a chance to live Florican, But from offensive gear I think it dies. I guess Karen could potentially sub uh, because then Florican would not kill anymore at minus two. As that is the case, predicting the Florican subs, but it's Z move. So it's either all pummeling or twinkle tackle, it is twinkle tackle. And now Florican um, is obviously fine for Sabella here as long as he connects. Even if Karen um, subs again, I think Florican is definitely the play here. So if I'm Karen here, I would switch into um, Megina. I'm, I'm a bit surprised that Karen went for DD because, like earlier, Karen always switched the gear out, but now Karen for DD. Like, the Megina was still too healthy to DD up, in my opinion. So, like, I'm a bit surprised that Karen decided to do that. I think just attacking to weaken the Megina would have been the better decision. Because you have an AV mech in the back that wants the opposing mech. So, you could just attack, weaken the Megina a bit, and then switch out. Which would have been a better play, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, missing something, but I feel like that would have been fine. So, now Karen can just go on the Megina here, breaking the, um, the floor can. And it shouldn't do much, it should like maybe 10% or 8%, like it should bounce off. Um, because AV Megina runs mag plus per dev at the moment. To attack on Yurenja had to pump really well. And to check opposing Megina. Stuff like that, right? So well, let's taking the time here, but I don't think like I don't think it's worth it to click anything other than Flurking just in case the Gyarados stays in. Uh, see, this just Florican and this 15. Okay, it does a bit more than I thought it would do, okay. But yeah, now Karen can just Volt Switch for free. So, Ballad cannot really hurt the opposing Megina, and the slow Volt Switch into Magnezone is gonna be a fine play. Um, let's see, I guess HP Fire is also an option. Now, the thing is, what is Sabella even gonna do here? It's not like he has a switch in. Like, he cannot do much damage to the opposing Megina, but he also doesn't have a good switch in. I guess Sabala might just stay in and, like, spam Focus Blast or T Bolt. Um, we don't know yet if he's re attacks or if he's. Oh, he goes hard, Ladi. Predicting Volt Switch? Okay. So, Karen made the Volt Switch play that I at first thought was the correct play, but I thought about it for a while and I wasn't sure anymore. And. Yeah, like, it seems like Sabala is super weak to the to AV Mag now. As Karen goes back into gear from Gyarados, and just in case the Ladi went for Draco, and I think that would have twit KO'd the Gyra. Well, I'm not 100% sure about that. I think Crunch would have been fine there, because Draco would not have killed the Gyarados. So let's just Volt Switch out, knowing that um, Ladi is locked into Defog. And I don't think the Gyra is Earthquake, like I said, the way Karen has been playing this. So yeah, I definitely think Magnuson is going to come out here and. Maybe Volt Switch back into Megina just to scout for Focus Blast. Because uh, Katana can definitely not kill the opposing gear. So, unless Gera has Earthquake and that kills the gear from here, then I would definitely go to Magnuson. So, all we have seen from this Megina is the Floor can. So the other moves are going to be Shift Gear, um, probably T-Bolt, and then either Ice Beam Focus Blast or Common in the last slot. Um, since he already has Ice Punch and Hooper, I think this Megina might not have Ice Punch. Uh, Ice Beam, I mean. My bad. 
So I could see the Megina having um, Focus Blast instead of Ice Beam. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think I would go Magnezone, Volt Switch, back into gear. Just in case this Megina has a Focus Blast. You don't want your Magnezone to go down. Mm. I mean, yeah, this is the thing. What, when is Karen setting up with Gyarados? Like, I understand not wanting to let the Gyarados take the Draco earlier, but, huh. It was, like, to me it was kind of obvious that uh, Savella had the default. Damn, damn, if you think about it, that, that was kind of risky by, um, by Karen earlier, actually. Uh, by Sabella earlier defogging. My bad, I, I meant by Sabella. So the Gyarados does come out, so does it have Earthquake? Ooh, baits the Florican immaculate place. So I did not even think about that, but that was uh, well played. Baiting the Florican. I mean, Karen can just spam Iron Head here if Karen has Iron Head, because that does um. It does a good amount to opposing Megina. As he shift gears, Karen ice beams in case he switches uh, to like Lari again. And it does more to Zard than Iron Head would do, okay. But like, you guys can see 7% that does laughable damage. It's Flash Cannon instead of Iron Head. Which usually you run Iron Head on Heavy Megina to beat opposing Comet Megina better. And it's also for Comet Clef. But like, it doesn't matter. You can see that <laughs> Sabala's Megina is not doing any types of damage to Karen's Megina. So Magina uh, just gets sacked off and now Zard is gonna come out and most likely click off quick because he doesn't want to take recoil from Flare Blitz. Um, I think Karen can sack the Magina here. Because you don't want to let the Zard set up and switch out and I don't think Magina is needed anymore. It is it? The thing is, what do you go to afterwards? Just sex the gear and now Gyarados is gonna come come out? I think Gyarados has to come out. And... I think you just crunch here if you're, um, if you're Karen. That hits everything neutral. Because if you're Dragon Dance and the Zard also Dragon Dance, it could potentially be bad. So I think just crunching is fine. Damn, like it's tough without a calculator. But yeah, this is what I meant. A plus one Dragon Claw would have killed the Gyarados. So attacking was the correct play. Because if you DD with Gyarados and the Zard also Dragon Dances, then you're in a bad position. So I think, yeah, attacking was the correct play. Now the Zard is in. You stay in with Gyarados so that the Zard cannot roost. And then the Zard is in range from Scarf Katana. So now you go Scarf Katana and you click Smart Strike, I think. Yeah, you click Smart Strike here because it does more to Lari than Leaf Blade. Um, I think Sabella is gonna sack the Zard here and afterwards he's gonna go to Lari and have to click Draco because Hoopa would uh, easily get to it killed. It cannot switch in. And I think it would also die to plus one Smart Strike, knowing that it has. Poor Fist Dev and Katana is really strong. I know Smart Strike is a weak base power move. But Hoopa's uh, for defense, Katana's great attack. Um, you just don't want to go Hoopa. So Sex Zard is going to be forced to Lottie here and click Draco Meteor. Karen is going to switch into Magnezone. I think Draco does like 98 to 100 something to Katana, like one to 112 or so. Like it's a roll uh, to kill Katana, but it's in Sabella's favor. So Karen doesn't want to stay in here, goes into the Magnus zone. Does dodge a Draco, so if Karen stayed in there, I think the game would have been over. Yeah, the game would have been over if Karen stayed in there. But obviously you cannot know that the Draco was going to miss there. Um, so the Magnus zone is probably going to Volt Switch here. 
Flash can, okay. I think Volt Switch would have been the better play, because it depends. It depends if the Hooper would have died to Smart Strike after Volt Switch damage. If Volt Switch into Smart Strike kills, I think that would have been a better play. Because now the Hooper can go for Drain Punch and get its health back. And I think Sabella wins now because Drain Punch is going to do a lot and he's going to get health back. So I think Volt Switch is going to come out of Flash Can. Yeah, Flash Can again. See, like, Hooper just healed it all off. So Magnuson dies. Now Katana has to Smart Strike to kill the Hooper. And then. Sabella still has to hit a Draco, but now the odds are in Sabella's favor. Because Draco, um, at first, it's 90% accurate, and I think it has a really high chance to kill. Like I said, it has 98% minimum. 90% chance to win is what Man said in S2's chat. Yeah, 90% chance to hit, but they also have to get the roll. Does hit, does get the roll. So Sabella does win, and Sabella is in ulti grand finals, uh, and he's gonna face CL there. Uh, Grats to Sabella. Um, there, there were a few confusing turns in this game, so... I guess this wasn't my best narration, but overall it was still fine, I think. And yeah, this was kind of Sabella got his revenge. He already faced off with Karen Smith before, and I think round 6, if I recall correctly, or was it round 7? And then Karen won. So um, Karen stayed in winner's bracket, and Sabella got put to loser's bracket, but Sabella kept winning there, and Karen eventually lost in winner's bracket versus CL, if I'm not mistaken. And now they faced off again in loser's bracket finals. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, thank you for watching, smash that like button if you want to see more, and peace out.